Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this very simple GPT-3 voice chat bot. It's under 50 lines of code and it works pretty well. So let's go ahead and try it out. Hello. Hi there. How's it going? It's going well. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. That's great. So what have you been up to? Just been hanging out with friends and family. That's always good. I know, it's been a lot of fun. What do you want to talk about? I don't know, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about video games. Okay, I have been playing a lot of video games lately. What games have you been playing? I've been playing a lot of Mario Party, Animal Crossing, and Splatoon. That sounds like a lot of fun. I've never played any of those games. Yeah, they are a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying them. Have you ever played Rocket League or Minecraft? I haven't played either of those games, but I've heard they are a lot of fun. Yeah, they are. They're my favorite games. I'll have to try them out sometime. You should. Yeah, I will. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem, thanks for talking with me. No problem, it was fun. Okay, well, goodbye. Goodbye. So, there it is, the chatbot in action. It works pretty well. You can talk about almost anything. Um, it's GPT-3, so it works very, very well. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you how to build it now. All right, so to build this voice chat bot you're gonna need python 3 i'm using python 3.8 right here and you're also gonna need these three packages openai pytsx3 and speech recognition and you're gonna need to create a file mine's just called api secrets and in that file create a variable you can call it api key in all caps and set it equal to your openai api key if you are using PyCharm Community Edition or um, PyCharm Professional, you can go to File, Settings, and go to Project, Project Interpreter, and you can just click this little plus sign right here and search for your package, and you click on it and install it. We can go ahead and create our Python file, name it Tapbot, and we can just import all of these three packages. We're just gonna import speech recognition as SR, just to shorten it. And then we're gonna import from API secrets. Uh, we're gonna import the API key. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is set openai.api key equal to our API key. And then we're going to initialize the text-to-speech engine equals pytsx3.init. And then we're going to initialize our speech recognition. Uh, so we can just do r equals sr.recognizer. And then we can do mic equals sr.microphone. And my device index equals two. The device index is basically just which microphone you're using. In order to find out which microphones are which, you can print sr.microphone.list microphone names, and then you can go ahead and run it. And we get a list of all our microphones right here. So mine is microphone three Logitech USB mic. So it's index 0, 1, 2. So my device index is 2. All right, so now we're going to set conversation equal to uh, empty string. So this variable is basically just going to allow us to integrate context into the conversation. Next, we can do username equals whatever you want your username to be. So I'm just going to put Josode. So next we're going to create a while loop while, oops, while true 
And then we're gonna do with like as source. We can go ahead and print listening. So this indicates to us that the microphone is listening for sound. And then we could do r dot adjust for ambient noise source. And then we can set a duration equal to 0 0.2. This will just help get rid of uh, background noise. And then we can do audio equals r dot listen source. And then we can exit out of that loop and print no longer listening. And then we can do try user input equals r dot recognize google and we can do audio and then we can accept continue all right so next we're going to set prompt Oops, prompt equal to username plus colon plus user input and then plus the name of the bot so we could just do bot colon just like that and don't forget to add a slash n right before the username and then we can do conversation plus equals prompt so that will add context to the conversation and then we can do response equals openai dot completion dot create and then we want the engine to be text dash davinci dash zero zero one we want to set prompt equal to conversation and we can set max tokens equal to 50 which should be plenty for this chatbot to work well all right so in order to get the response into a string that's uh, readable we can do response string equals response and then choices zero and then text and then we want to dot replace all of it and we replace the new lines with uh, an empty string sometimes we get something like this where you say hi and it responds with something more than just the initial message so it gives extra messages but to get rid of that we can put in this line of code so we take the response string and we split it we do username plus the colon and the space and then one and then zero dot split ava or the username which in this case is bot one and then zero so this will just get rid of uh, the extra bit at the end there Next we can do conversation plus equals response string plus slash n. And then we can print the response string just like that. And then to actually run the text to speech, we can say engine dot say response string and then we just do engine dot run and wait oops run and run and wait there we go so that should be it we can go ahead and run it hello hello you sewed how's it going Everything is going well, thank you for asking. How about you? I'm doing alright, thanks. That's great to hear. Do you want to talk about your favorite vacation spot? My favorite vacation spot is definitely Maui. The beaches are beautiful and the weather is perfect. I also love the food there. That's awesome. I think my favorite spot would be Mexico. I love the beach there. I haven't been to Mexico, but it sounds like it would be a great place to visit. I'm sure you had a great time. What were we talking about before? 
We were talking about your favorite vacation spot. Did you have a good time on your trip to Mexico? Yeah, I've had a good time on my trips to Mexico. It's always been a lot of fun. I'm glad to hear that. It sounds like you've had some great experiences. So as you can see, um, it's good about responding and understanding context. So if you're having a conversation, you can ask about what you were previously talking about and it will know. So yeah, this is a pretty cool voice chat bot. It works very well and it's really simple to make in under 50 lines of code. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.